Hi there, Deb Holkstra here coming to you from the studios of Bebug Creations. Today I'm going to share with you a technique that I found on Pinterest. Um, the gal who shared it called it the ghosting technique and I think you'll understand why she called it that after I show you how it works. And for this technique you will need a piece of designer paper, a Versamark ink pad, and a stamp. And for this particular project I am using the um, Sycamore Street designer paper and the Madison Avenue stamp set, both that are available through the Celebration 2013 um, Stampin' Up! program. So we'll get started. First thing you need to do is ink your stamp with the Versamark and then stamp it onto the designer paper. Now it's going to be kind of tricky here because you're not going to be able to see, and I, I'm sure you can't see where I stamped it, but um, you can kind of see where, where you stamp it. And once you've done that, you're going to take your clear embossing powder and you're going to cover your image with that. Again, it's hard to see, um, but it is there. <laughs> I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to heat emboss the clear embossing powder. So I'm going to be quiet while I run my gun. And as you're watching, you will see the embossing powder turn clear and shiny as we heat. I'll try to get out of the light there so you can see. And as it gets hot, it changes burning my fingers here. It changes from, there it's starting to change, it changes from clear or dull to shiny. And you want to just make sure that you get the whole image. And there, I'll move it around a little bit. I don't know if you can see the shine or not, but it is shiny. Then you're going to take an ink pad and in this case I chose Rich Razzleberry ink and you're going to take a sponge. Make sure you sponge it up really good with ink and then what you're going to do is you're just going to go in a circular motion around the area where the stamped image was. And as you can see as you do that the image pops out the designer paper shows through the clear embossing powder and it makes a really cool effect. And because the, um, because the clear embossing is lighter than the ink that you're rubbing with, that is why it's called ghosting because it looks like a ghost. And you want to make sure that you get a really nice dark um, ink on there. And then your final step is to take a piece of paper towel and rub over the embossing powder. And the ink that um, got rubbed on the embossing, the embossed image, will wipe off and you are left with an image that is ghosted. And it's really, really a cool technique. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial video on how to do the ghosting technique. And I hope you try it yourself as well. Thank you. Have a great day.